Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and today is the day before Halloween and I'm so excited. I wanted to come out and take it all in one last time, ride some rides, eat some food and just have a spooky Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. There is just something really special about being at the Magic Kingdom during the Halloween season. I love the Mickey pumpkins, I love all of the different colors and the decorations, and I love just the atmosphere itself. Like look, we got a little pumpkin patch right here, right next to uh, Cinderella Castle and the Adventureland uh, sign there. I already bought an individual lightning lane for Tron and Seven Doors Mine Train, so we're definitely gonna ride those rides today. And I was thinking about getting Genie Plus, but it was $27. And I think I'd rather just spend $31 and be able to guarantee like riding Tron and Seven Doors Mine Train. So we definitely have those on the plans. You know what, I really have to say, I feel like Cinderella Castle has a beautiful side profile. You got the water running up to it. In fact, I remember I used to watch Disney movies and it looked like there was like a stream of water that led up to the front of the castle, but that doesn't exist. This is the closest that you get and I love it. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Today, I am actually testing out a new camera. The old camera that I used to use, I've, I've used it since the beginning, uh, was the Canon G7X Mark II, but they uh, kind of stopped making them. It's hard to get them nowadays. So I gotta, you know, mix it up and try something new. So let me know what you guys think. You know, is the sound good, the quality, the stabilization? I'd love your feedback. And hopefully I can recreate the same style of uh, videos that I've always shot. It's almost time for our Tron Lightning Lane. So I think we're gonna head into Tomorrowland and get ready to ride. And I'm so excited to ride this ride. I actually love Tron. I feel like it's been a while since the last time I rode Tron. I think the last time I rode Tron was during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And it's kind of funny that there is no party tonight, the day before Halloween. Kind of gives people a chance to actually enjoy the park if they don't buy a ticket, you know? And I like that. A lot of people always think just because you get a virtual queue means you won't have a wait, but that's not true at all. The only way to skip out on the wait is actually getting the lightning lane. The virtual queue is free, but usually sometimes the line could be an hour to two hours long. Right now, I'd say that's about an hour. Just about an hour, but we're gonna go straight on because we uh, paid $20 for the lightning lane. Oh, here it comes. Thank you. 
It's not that I hate Seven Doors Mine Train. I just like Tron better because I kind of like the launch sequence and I love going indoors and outdoors. I think uh, Seven Doors Mine Train is really good for the storyline and also the animatronics in there. I love it. But as a roller coaster, I think Tron's a way better roller coaster. Wow, look at Tigger running through the Magic Kingdom. That was cool. Or not even running, he's skipping. Wow, oh, here comes Pooh now, too. One of my favorite things is just walking in between the rides because of all the great things that you get to see on your walk. Oh, look at that person dressed up as Winnie the Pooh, walking with Winnie the Pooh. I'm saying that because my mom really loves Winnie the Pooh. Right now, I feel like Seven Doors Mine Train and Tron are the two most popular attractions in the park. And I love how we were able to kind of stack them so that as soon as we got out Tron, we were able to go ride Seven Doors Mine Train. And I like that I got, like, so I didn't buy Genie Plus. Genie Plus was $27, but I like the fact that I paid $31 because it was $20 for Tron, $11 for Seven Doors Mine Train. I'd rather pay $31 to ride the two most popular attractions in the park than pay 27 to maybe, you know, ride uh, like Big Thunder Mountain and a couple of other rides. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it better for $31 or 27? It actually looks like the standby wait time is 85 minutes for Seven Doors Mine Train. And this is the line for the Lightning Lane. Oh, it's actually outside the line. Oh, well, might as well hop in. This is where we're at now. One thing you can definitely appreciate about Seven Doors Mine Train, the queue itself is under a shade and it's actually really nice and it's not hot. You know what I mean? Not directly under the sun all the time. Wow! Looks like a nice little party in there. And a very scary, scary person at the end there. Oh, there she is. She is so scary looking, look at her. This is the real reason I wanted to ride this ride the day before Halloween, so I can get scared. Seven Doors Mine Train is definitely a lot longer than Tron. I think Tron clocks in just around 60 seconds, and I think Seven Doors Mine Train is three minutes. And I'm saying that because I Googled it right before I said this. But uh, yeah, I mean, I still love the ride. I think it's a great ride, but it's a family coaster, and it's made for everyone to enjoy, and I love that. Tron, on the other hand, Tron, I feel like, is just a thrill ride. I mean, it is like the definition of a roller coaster. And I also like that too, but let me know what you guys think what's a
a better roller coaster, but also a better overall ride. When I got off Seven Doors Mine Train, I came over here to record my next video and I was just sitting here realizing, wow, look at how beautiful this is. Like, look at how amazing the backside of Cinderella Castle is, especially when you have this area. Like, when you get this all in one frame right there, isn't that gorgeous? Wow. I mean, I was just sitting here admiring and I kind of wanted to show you guys. Would you look at that? That's all. <laughs> but anyways, now I think we're actually going to go get something to eat. Maybe a little snack. I hear they got new egg rolls. Uh, so maybe we'll go over there and take a gander. Or actually, I might want to see what's inside Pinocchio's uh, uh, village house. Because they sometimes have specials. And also, we can maybe sit up on the top. We can go up on the, 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 the second floor. I get excited over the littlest things, but I love coming up here and actually sitting down and eating because you get this amazing view. Look at this. And here is the buffalo chicken pizza. A brand new pizza that they actually uh, just started serving here about a week ago. So this is going to be here for a while. And I'm not too sure how I'm going to like it. It looks like it's uh, like a, a regular buffalo chicken pizza, but it's drizzled with ranch and then buffalo buffalo sauce and cheese. They always have special pizzas over here at Pinocchio's. And the last one they had, the margarita one was really good. They always change them out. So I'm excited to give this one a go and uh, see how it uh, ranks up there on the Pinocchio flatbread scale, you know? I was just about to bite into my pizza when I noticed it wasn't cut. Like, it's not like a pizza. Well, it's a flatbread. But uh, the under, the look at the undercarriage. It's not even cut. Look at that. So uh, I guess I'm just going to pick it up just like a slice and eat it like this. <laughs> actually, it's actually holding up really good. I'm actually really impressed. So cheers. Honestly, I feel like we don't give Pinocchio's enough credit when it comes to this flatbread. I love their flatbreads there. And like, look at that crust underneath there. That is really, really, really good. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not too sure how I feel about this buffalo one. The, the hot sauce hasn't kicked in yet, and I want to see how hot it is. But uh, I do love the flatbreads there. I think I like the, uh, the meat one a lot better. Like, I like the meat flatbread one a little bit better. And uh, the margarita one was really good, too. This one's okay. I just, like I said, uh, the hot sauce, a little too much. And there's a lot of ranch on there. Look at that. When I folded it in half, like when I did it, the ranch actually came through there. So, yeah. Well, now I know, you know. Stick to the meat flatbread. But if you love buffalo chicken, uh, and especially ranch or spicy stuff, you're going to love this. I think we're going to keep moving along and maybe make our way over to Adventureland to check on the spring roll cart. But look at how beautiful the sun is starting to set in the Magic Kingdom. The side profile on the castle looks a little bit slimmer on this side, though. Don't you think? It looks so amazing out right now. I love it here. Seriously, it's the best time to come during a sunset or that golden hour. Just hang out in Tomorrowland and just look around a little bit. I'm not even sure what the uh, uh, spring rolls are. I just hear that there are new ones. Um, so I'm kind of excited. It could be the same one because sometimes I see they take things like they take some spring rolls away and then they replace them with ones they had in the past. But I guess we're going to find out. The last time I got spring rolls from this cart, I think they were uh, pastrami. I think they were pastrami spring rolls, so I'm kind of excited. It looks like they brought back the pepperoni pizza spring roll. I've had it before and I like it a lot. Of course, they always have the cheeseburger one. Oh, a uh, pepperoni pizza roll. Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Oh, good. I had to come out and get the pepperoni pizza. I just had the buffalo chicken pizza over at Pinocchio's Village House. They have a new one. It's a flatbread. It's all right. Nothing beats the spring rolls, though, you know? Oh, you too. See you now. Have a great one. Look at these little beauties. My friend Isaac said try the cheeseburger sauce with the uh, pizza one, so I grabbed them. Look at that, 10 bucks, two, uh, two spring rolls, not too bad, not too shabby. I'm not the biggest fan of these sauces, but uh, like I said, I still try some. I, 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 I like to try everything at least once. And uh, here we go. Our first little egg roll. Look at these precious little beauties here. I'm very excited. Here we go. First bite, you can hear the crisp. 
Wow, these pack such a punch. I was like, I remember I had these before, but I don't remember them being so flavorful. Maybe the ones I had before were just uh, like pizza ones. Maybe, maybe the pepperoni's new, I can't remember, but I love these. These are so good. I know everybody loves the cheeseburger ones, but these pepperoni ones are probably my favorite. Oh man, these are so good and there's so much pepperoni. Like I know I showed you before, but look at that. So much pepperoni in there. Wow, we were just in time for the adventure cavalcade. Look at Max, I wonder if he's gonna recognize his dad on the ground there. I just want to give the uh, characters some appreciation. That was amazing. As you've seen, most of them noticed the Goofy. You know how sometimes Custodio draws with uh, like their wet room and they, they either draw Mickey or Goofy, but Goofy was in the middle there and uh, the characters all noticed it and they didn't step on it. And then Max noticed that it was his father. Well, it was the Goof and then Genie came by, but Stitch, Stitch, Stay true to himself and he destroyed it. He like messed it all up and that's what Stitch does. That is so amazing and I appreciate it so much. Every time I start talking to the camera, I realize something beautiful is happening in front of me. So I immediately switch over so I can show you guys. Look at this. We've been catching all the good shots today and not even on purpose. Look at the lights reflecting off of the water, Cinderella Castle in the background. Wow, that was beautiful. Oh, my lantern. I was gonna say, let's head over to Big Thunder Mountain, but the hoedown just started. We gotta go see the hoedown. Look at Big Al. the hoedown and it's crazy to think that all those cast members actually know the dance routine you know what I mean like they all hop in and they don't skip a beat except for Big Al it's funny he just gave up mid dance uh, but that's Big Al and now I think we're gonna go ride Big Thunder Mountain it said it was a 35 minute wait so uh, we'll see if it's actually 35 minutes and I don't know take it from there I guess I definitely think this isn't a 35 minute wait there's actually nobody coming behind me look at this well, now people are starting to come in, but I'm just walking through here enjoying the view. Look at this. Wow, what a view. Look at the roller coaster. Well, the 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 uh, Big Thunder, the train's about to go over the lift hill there. That's one of my favorite parts. Ooh, the geyser just went off there. Wow, look at all this happening here. This is really nifty. Ooh. Seriously, this is such a beautiful view of Big Thunder Mountain. I could sit here all day and just stare at it. 
And here comes our train. Thunder Mountain was so much fun, especially at night. I love how we got the special like little like sunset ride with the golden hour and the pink skies. It was amazing. Now I think it's time to start making our way down Main Street, go see Gracie Girl. I gotta show you her Halloween costume. And also, it's her birthday tomorrow. We picked uh, Halloween as her birthday because we don't know her actual birthday since we got her like uh, at one year, she was one years old. Uh, and uh, it was just around that time frame too. So it was perfect. And uh, yeah, I'll take you home and show you and check on the balloon. And with that, I think we are done here today at the Magic Kingdom. One last look down Main Street, USA. Then we get to come over and take a gander at the uh, twinkling Mickey pumpkins. I'm excited for uh, the holiday season. I mean, they're going to be out for a little bit longer, but uh, don't you worry. Disney doesn't, Disney doesn't wait. And we're going to be right into Christmas, probably within the week. Everything will be decorated, the tree will be up, and I'm going to be here. There's lots of new events, and I got no major plans of traveling anytime soon. So we're going to be covering all the new Christmas uh, events here at Disney. And I'm, like I said, I'm excited. But I am going to miss Halloween a little bit. A little sad. The balloon journey has come to an end. Look at that. On the night of All Hallows' Eve... The balloon has fallen. You raise me up so I can climb the mountains. You raise me up. Gracie's going as a ghost this year. Yes, you are. And she's so excited. Yes. I'll show you. I'll put her ghost costume on. She actually likes it a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll go trick or treating for her birthday. Get a nice little pup cup. Probably have a nice dinner. All of your favorite things. She's excited. All right. You want to put your costume on? You want to show them your, your spooky costume? Huh? It's actually pretty funny because getting your dog's exact measurements for like, <laughs> like Gracie's eyes, her nose, you know what I mean? Stuff like that was actually very uh, challenging. We took a lot of photos. So if you guys want to see some of the pretty photos, uh, I posted them on my Instagram. But uh, this was challenging. I went through, I think, three sheets until I figured I got it right. And this is, uh, this is Gracie's face. Right there. So you ready? You want to show them? This is it. But you can see, even this one I had to try several times. Let's see. Maybe I think there's even more over on this side. I was trying to use it from every single corner. But yeah, this is how we do it. I'll show you. Ooh. You ready? Show them, Grace. <laughs> we got to get her ears out, though. She likes it when her ears are out. There we go. You got to line it up. Come here. 
There you go. Ooh, look at the spooky ghost. Look at the spooky ghost. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know what you guys think about the camera quality. Right now, I am shooting on my old camera, which I can still record on the Canon G7X. The problem is, is I'm so outdated and uh, I'm trying to catch up with the times, you know? Uh, I'm finally editing on a Mac after using Windows Movie Maker for the past seven years and the Canon G7X is great, but now I shoot a lot with my camera and stuff and my laptop won't recognize, like my old laptop wouldn't recognize like the files. So that's why I have to get a new camera and uh, this is the Sony ZV-1. I don't know how it worked out because I haven't edited like I haven't edited this video, so I'm gonna probably see what it's like as I'm editing it. Um, but hopefully it comes out good. Some things I like so far about it is the wider angle. I think the sound isn't as good. I can get external mics and I'm gonna mess around with stuff like that, but these are things I've never done before. So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. And I don't like big cameras. I I don't like big rigs, big cameras. I like, I like being able to have like a very small point and shoot camera that I could just stick in my pocket you know what I mean because uh, honestly when I'm out in the parks I don't want people like I don't want to like it look like there's like a big filming thing happening I just like being discreet have fun and you know what I mean like most of the time when I'm walking around the parks I don't even carry my camera I just put it right in my pocket and then when I get out somewhere like say I get to the front of a ride I just pull out my camera and I just look and start recording you know what i mean it, it's it's really easy but bigger cameras are you know what i mean you can't do that so uh yeah i'm gonna kind of play around until i find the perfect like m fit and uh go from there now one thing i do want to point out and this is important are my eyes because this is the thing though the canon g7x has the oh i'll show you the canon g7x actually has the flip screen on the top i have a bunch of dead like cameras here look at i have tons of these canon g7x including the one that i'm filming on right now uh but the screen lifts up and uh the the new camera that i got it's on the side like the screen lifts up like this well, it would, but I took the screws out of this one. I, like I said, so a lot of people, I've given my cameras too. Like, uh, there's a lot of, actually, I'll just say this. There are multiple vloggers out there who are vlogging with my old cameras. Like, because, you know, I run into people and whenever they say, oh, I want to get into vlogging, what do you suggest and stuff like that. And uh, because I use these cameras so much, I have to buy new ones whenever, you know what I mean, I, I you know, come across a, a problem or an error. And if it's not something bad, like a, a dead pixel, I always say to like people that are starting, like, oh, you want a camera? Here, it has a dead pixel, but it's a good way to start and you won't have to invest a lot of money until you can figure it out. So it's kind of cool that we have a lot of cameras out there with like my old cameras. I won't say oh, but uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, this one's a little bit difficult because it's on the side here. So my eyes keep on wandering because when I'm vlogging, I usually look at the screen so I can see like how the camera's coming out and everything like this. Now I have to look directly into the camera and I, I'm always like, side eye in it and it's funny because i already side eye all the time if you watch any of my videos when i'm recording it you always notice i'm always looking to the left or the right uh mainly because i want to make sure that like there's nobody like you know what i mean i want to make sure like there's nothing coming you know what i mean usually you're in a theme park or sometimes when people see me film they come up and they wait until i'm finished and then they want to say hi and stuff like that so that's why i'm always like looking like left or right but now i'm like uh oh <laughs> i don't know what to do so we'll see how it comes out in the video but uh, yeah, we'll test it out and thanks for hanging with me as I'm going through the process of I don't know learning how to be a vlogger <laughs> To be honest like that's literally what I'm trying to uh, accomplish. I mean, I, 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 I'm a very basic person I'm not very intelligent when it comes to computers and you know, what I mean stuff like that So it's it, 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 it's a learning curve, but yeah, anywho's I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the camera. Sorry, it's a long talk. And happy birthday, Gracie. We'll be hanging out tomorrow having fun and who knows what. So, anywho, we'll see you next time. Bye.